You guys may have noticed that I'm unusually large for a homosexual. I am not certain why this is the case. <laughs> my current working theory is that once my parents realized I was going to be gay, they figured they might as well raise the largest one in the county. Things have gotten really great. Like, Dietland is a really great show that isn't just showing a dynamic and interesting fat character, but it's sort of exploring the world that wants to keep her down, you know? Um, it really is dynamic and exciting. Lindy West's book, Shrill, was great, and the fact that it's turning, getting turned into a Hulu show is really exciting. But I think, you know, um, especially in a world where... Um, all of our big budget movies are superhero films. There's no space for fat people to be anything other than horrible, gross villains. But um, in comedy world, like uh, like the partnership of um, Melissa McCarthy and Paul Feig has done so much. Like. Spy is essentially about the fact that you don't expect anything out of someone who looks like Melissa McCarthy uh, and that she has more inside of her. And the fact that like they kept giving her all of these aliases that were dumb and boring and she was just so like, you know, bridling at that and, and needing to get who she was out into the world is really exciting. And I, I hope that we can go from that being a story that's hilarious to one that just feels a little more true. Not that like anyone's story should stop being hilarious because that is my business. Let's hope. I don't need fat suits in my life. I don't need anyone's hilarious caricature of what it means to be a fat person. A fat suit presents fatness as an indignity that a real person has to deal with. The notion is, is that anyone for whom the fat is actually connected to their body kind of isn't a, a real person. I don't need to see that. Maybe it's a great show. Maybe you can do it in some way that's really smart or interesting. Uh, the thing is, is I never want to put it past people to have the capacity to understand worlds outside of themselves. Like my book, My Life is a Goddess, available wherever books are sold, is so much about me seeing myself in uh, other different kinds of people. So like, I never want to say, hey, straight people shouldn't play gay people or skinny people shouldn't play fat people or whatever. Maybe someone has the capacity to think and do the work, but also... A, that doesn't happen a lot, and there isn't anyone there to say, stop that. That's not how two ladies kiss each other. You know, like when it's written by straight people, performed by straight people, and there's no one there to say, like, stop it. And also, like, we, one of the reasons Scarlett Johansson keeps getting cast as Asian trans men is because we say, oh, hey, there are no trans men, there are no Asian actors who are famous enough or proven enough to be able to perform this role. And like, it's never, we're never going to have that opportunity if we're not getting access to any of those roles. You know, I'm tired of watching straight guys best speculation of how homosexuality works. Like when you think about the sheer number of movies over the last couple of years, um, Moonlight, uh, Imitation Game, like all of these <laughs> attempts at talking about male homosexuality, which are universally performed by a bunch of straight people. It's like, and written and directed. It's like, why is that necessary? Like, Timothy Chalamet is great, but also we have twinks of our own.